The Institute of Tropical Forestry headquarters building was designed by Ellis Groben using characteristics of the Spanish Revival style. It was built between 1939 and 1942. These facilities were determined eligible as part of the National Register of Historic Places by the State Historic Preservation Office. It became the signature building of the USDA Forest Services in Puerto Rico. The Forest Services opted for restoring the structure to its historic characteristics with the additional challenge of converting it into a green building. One of the most difficult uh, tasks that we were given were trying to replicate the windows uh, to his historical uh, characteristics and proportions, but also making them energy efficient and also having the NFRC certification. It took us about two years to be able to find a manufacturer that was willing to work with us to make this feasible. Uh, the windows were basically the most important historic element that was visible from the exterior that we needed to replicate. In 2008, Storm King Windows were asked to design and build some window and door systems for the forestry headquarters. The problem that we had uh, were the windows and doors had to look exactly the way they did in 1945. But at the same time, we had to make certain that the energy requirements complied with the Green Building Council, and we were NFRC rated to become a LEED certified building. After two years of uh, development, we finally decided to use Rehau as a PVC provider, San Gaban as a glass and binder louver system from Europe, and built basically a hybrid, hybrid window and door system using the three different components. It took probably about one year to complete uh, the windows and doors and another two months to have everything installed. Since that time, uh, the building I believe is saving probably 30-40% on electricity. The biggest benefits of the building was its energy efficiency, uh, the comfort, the indoor quality that was achieved the low energy consumption that was uh, gained through the insulating the buildings and having some energy efficient windows. The U.S. Green Building Council awarded this building lead, a LEED Gold certification, becoming the first historic building in Puerto Rico being certified by the U.S. Green Building Council. It was also the first building registered in the island to become a LEED certified building.